it's Angela Irene. Thank you so much for joining us here at our Budget Life. If you're new here, this is all about us being an open book about our money and how we're trying to make it work for us. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I know I'm trying to get the cooking done and I still am. We're working on it. We just have had some setbacks. Um, we'll talk about it in the budget because uh, there's some, well, we'll talk about it. Uh, and if you stick around to the very end, I'll give you an update on our youngest wedding. We have ourselves a venue. We have the usual cast of characters. We have $4,390. We have our sinking funds. We have our cash envelopes. We have our savings challenges. And let's get started. All right, I will flash a close up of our budget here so you can follow around, um, you know, along a little easier than trying to look at it here. All right, we are a single income, single pay. So we get paid once a month with my husband's salary. It's $4,390. I pay our bills basically at the first of the month. So we have our, you know, our main house bills. That's $1,320. But the biggest change came in the rest of the bills. We had hoped to have the car loan turn in and the 5K loan that we paid off uh, turn into extra payments on the car loan. Except unfortunately, our oldest daughter was in an, an, an accident and uh, ended up totaling her car, not her fault. Um, at least we're going to have some compensation you know, from the other driver, but she's not doing too well physically, so she's... You know, she's got to work some through some things before they take care of that. But uh, she needed a car. She's a nursing student and she has got to get to school. So um, our 5K loan that we paid off, well, that's now a 4K loan. Uh, so we can help out the best that we can. So this $335 will be with us for the next 12 months. And then our car loan is just going to be what it is, the $230. So we have our house at $1,320 expenses. Normal bills are at $1,195. Our cash envelopes are $1,285. Our sinking funds are $430. We're going to fill five envelopes in our 52-week challenge. And then we have a whopping $10 to put towards our 100 envelope challenge. So we'll go ahead and get to that. But the biggest, the, the biggest change is going to be this loan again. So let's do what we always do. Let's unpack our September cash envelopes and find out what we have left. All right. And these are the categories of cash envelopes I carry with me all the time. Groceries, gas, health pet needs, miscellaneous, and eating out. Okay, so before we can stuff our envelopes, let's unstuff our envelopes. And I did get to save our $100. Uh, gas here is $6 and over. So this, I have 10 left. I'm going to leave our gas the same. But it's to the point where, you know, unless you're very careful with where you drive, you know, combining trips and, and you know, that kind of thing, I don't know if the 600 is going to make it. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to see where this next month takes us. And, um, you know, we'll just take it a little at a time. I and mean, that's pretty much all we can do right now. How is gas in your area? Are you, is this just a California thing? What's happening? Our gas is just climbing and climbing. Okay. And anything I have left over from our cash envelopes, that is what we fund our savings challenges with. So it's always important if I can get any cash out of these envelopes, it's a win-win. All right, this is the $100. I always start with a $100 bill in my grocery category because I will do anything I can not to break this thing. So we still have it. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 80, 
283. Wow. Okay, I think that's the best we have done. Maybe this year. I think that might be our, our highest. Awesome. Okay, what I will do is I will put this off to the side. We will fill our savings challenges at the very end. And I will go ahead and pull the cash because I did not change the category amounts. I will go ahead and pull the cash already and speed things along for us. Okay, the cash envelopes, this represents $1,285. And this is from the cash wa my cash wallet I carry with me everywhere. All right, groceries is still the same at 500. One, two, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, and five. This is the category I have the most control over. That's why I try to put that $100 bill in there because it, it's hard to break. So if I'm going to save anywhere here, this is the one I have the most control over. So the next one, this is my problem child. This is gas. This one is 600. We live in a rural community in Northern California. So our gas tends to be, you know, high anyway, because what are, they, what are we going to do? I mean, we're kind of stuck up here. So uh, I keep trying to keep us at 600. I'm going to let it go one more month. And then if not, we're going to have to make some hard decisions about what we're going to do differently with this category. So we're doing the best we can. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, and 6. So I may have to cut somewhere else to add a little more to this category. We just keep doing what we can to combine trips, you know, do that kind of thing. Health, this is $100, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1. Now q tip shampoo, you know, that kind of thing. Our pet needs, I always have an extra 15 in case we run out of doggy cookies. I do fund our actual dog food with um, points we have stored up on our card. I am able to get a gift card and then pay for the dog food. So that works out really well. We're just down to our one rotund child. All right, miscellaneous. This is 50, 20, 40, and 50. This is also AKA my gas fund if I, if I really need it. All right, and eating out, this used to be 60. Um, you know, because of the car loan and everything else we have going on, I, we can't justify eating out. So I have a $20 in here because when we get gas, there's always um, our famous Slurpee addiction. And I'm, I'm not afraid to admit it. We have a Slurpee addiction. So there's $20 for that. All right. This represents our cash envelopes. This is our lifeblood for the month, $1,285. Next, this would be our house binder. This would be the majority of the bills that revolve around where we live, obviously. All right. Uh, the house, um, if you're new, we sold our house in town and we moved on to the property um, that my parents have. Uh, we have a bungalow and they have, um, you know, a regular size house and we have this little house here. Um, medical issues and whatnot kind of forced us to make this change. So that's kind of how we are um, all together on the property. Our house, our portion of the property is $400 a month. One, two, three, and four. Electric. Um, we didn't have a bedroom for our youngest who is still with us. So we ended up having to buy a travel trailer for her. We called the tiny house. So between the bungalow and the insane amount of electricity that thing draws, our electric is averaging 400 a month. So... <laughs> That's why this is a complete nightmare for us. I hate this category beyond belief. All right, that's four. One, two, three, and four. Next up is the insurance policy. This is 
a bundle for us. Not only does it cover our contents uh, inside our home, it also covers our cars. Insurance is $240. And that mainly represents us living out in the middle of nowhere because insurance is extremely expensive um, once you get out of the you know town so that's uh, this is what we're dealing with so 100 220 and 40 i've had people ask me why is your insurance so expensive because once you don't live anywhere really close to a you know a fire station mm, insurance isn't real happy about that so okay wlc this is water laundry and doggy cookies the well is on my parents side of the property so they uh, their electricity ends up paying for the water to pump the water from the well and the laundry that we do over on their side and because um, their grandchild our four-legged uh, rotund child here uh, she eats a lot of doggy cookies so i you know i need to kick in there so it is sixty dollars 20 40 and 60. garbage this is a service um, that we pay and that is twenty dollars a month propane right now um i am figuring a hundred dollars a month but now that gas has hit six dollars i think propane is going to oof, probably two we have a 280 gallon tank so that thing is expensive to fill so we'll see how we do this year so i'm going to put a hundred dollars towards that and this is an older um property we've you know our buildings are getting older so i'm trying to put a hundred dollars a month for things to get repaired if something breaks down that type of thing and unfortunately we've had quite a few things go wrong uh, when we had snow and a brownout we had a lot of things mm, fry it wasn't it wasn't pretty okay so that was repairs this binder itself uh represents let me get my notes here really quick one thousand three hundred and twenty dollars total so it is you know it's a good chunk of our budget right there all right the next binder these are our basic bills so to speak so that is twenty dollars cable this is three hundred dollars and this is not just cable it is cable it is our landline which is very important out in the middle of nowhere because not always do our cell phones um, work especially if there's a lot of wind and storm and that kind of thing and it also is our internet so this is a package deal so that is three hundred okay uh, the cell phones this is 90 I went to Mint Mobile which I'm telling you right now would um, the service was fabulous I didn't have any different service than I did when I had straight talk but you have to pay a year in advance so I do have to pay towards the money I spent for the year so that is $90 and I think after my husband retires we're probably gonna switch him over too so my plan is five gigs because i don't really use my phone a, a ton and when i do i'm on wi-fi and so it's five gig uh, a month and it's fifteen dollars so I, psh, that was a great deal for us okay um streaming media this one is fifteen dollars my hands are dry ten and five okay dmv i can't do anything about this one i hate this category uh, this one is going to be the registration for our vehicles and it is 85 a month Okay, the auto maintenance i have eighty dollars for this one i would like this one to go back up to a hundred we are firm believer if you know take care of the maintenance on your car 
and it'll take care of you. And it that has been true after all of these years. So I want to go back up to 100, but because we now have the car payment that we didn't anticipate, we we didn't have a car payment before till we had our main vehicle well, just die. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and that was definitely an unexpected expense. So we've had to adjust that one. The trailer, AKA uh, the money pit, um, hmm, the daughter's tiny house. She loves this thing. However, this thing forever needs something. So, and that's 40. At some point, I would like this to go back up to 100 as well. Okay, I haven't changed it yet. This is not the 5K loan. We did pay that one off. This is now the 4K loan. So that is 335. Oh, it's a little bit of everything I've got going on in this envelope, don't I? One, two, three, 20, 30, and five. So I will change that. To say 4k I just I need to change the printer settings and whatnot so I'll get to that so we'll just pretend it says 4k all right and then the auto loan you know our car loan that we certainly weren't planning on but here we are okay that is 100 200 20 and 30 so this is the between these two binders that is the bulk of our bills. So this binder is $1,195. All right, let me grab the sinking funds. We'll get those all ready to go. Okay, let's work on the sinking funds. These would be all of the little things that we're saving for because we are aware they're coming. Um, ours are revolve around, you know, Christmas and birthdays, anniversaries, that type of thing. Um, maybe totally different in your world. You may be saving for property taxes or, you know, some big project you're doing on your property. I mean, who knows? But it, these are things that you were pretty aware are coming up and you just don't want to be, you know, left in the dark and worried about it for them coming up. So if you plan a little each month, you know, after a whole year, I mean, it, it's amazing what a little savings can do. All right, our biggest category is Christmas. This one is 200. One and two. I can't believe it's October. We are so close to Christmas. It's not even funny. All right, now we have five birthdays that we save for. We have the three kids, and then my parents are combined, and we are combined. And each one of our envelopes receives $10. So at the end of the year, it's $120. I mean, that's absolutely nothing to sneeze at. If my hands weren't so dry, this would probably go a little faster. But before we started the sinking funds you know all of a sudden someone's birthday would come around and you know it would it would completely and utterly blow our budget so you know we started off slow where we would put like three four dollars in an envelope and now we're up to ten and ten seems to be a nice sweet spot for us our anniversaries we also do my parents and then ours and each one of these envelopes gets ten dollars I don't think I said it last month. This one always reminds me of Minnie Mouse or Bo. And one of these days we're going to Disneyland. It's a goal. <laughs> All right. Mother's Day and Father's Day. Each one of these will get 10. All right. Out subscriptions. This would be like triple A, Amazon, you know, all those kind of fun things. And this one is 40. And then the last one is emergency. 
if for some reason something goes haywire and I am really, really stuck with these, I try to have a little in the emergency fund. And if something is really, really haywire with the budget, you know, I just like to have a little extra something going on here. So our sinking funds represent $430 of our budget. The last of our cash is going to be our 52 week challenge. And that would be in our little savings challenge envelope. It just seems like yesterday we were, we were starting this and look, we're down to the last little nubs. In fact, we are going to cross out five of these because there are five Sundays. Uh, we're almost done. This is just crazy, crazy, crazy. And I did get this off of Etsy. I love these little envelopes. I'm probably going to change to a little bit different system in the coming year. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. But for right now, the little envelopes are working very nicely. All right, week 40. This is going to be $40. And at the end of our 52 week challenge, we will have $1,400 saved. Week 41, this is a $20. Some people did, you know, sequential. Other people did a certain dollar amount. We've done both of those. Uh, what worked for me was alternating between 20 and 30, 20 and 40, 20 and 30. Um, because it was just kind of the way it fell in our budget. And then, you know, because we get paid the one time a month, it is just easier for me to fill them all at one time now. But the dollar amount's kind of stuck. So I kind of work on that, you know, kind of on that, that type of budget. So it old habits, you know, they are hard to break. <laughs> all right, week 42. I love, I love the little tiny numbers here. It is $30, and it's so weird to say week 42. Good grief. All right, week 43, this one is a 20. And week 44, our last one, this one is 40. And I love at the end of the year, usually we do it on New Year's. We empty out all the cash, see everything that we've saved. It's always very exciting. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to be coloring in. I can't believe this is where we are. This is nuts how fast this year has gone. Has it gone fast for you too? Right, look at this. I mean, we're just... Wow. All right. I will put these in my box, switch out my box and then our $10, which is really sad, but it is going to be put inside our, our 100 envelope challenge. I've already filled the 10, so I will just put this in the box. And then when we have money to put in it, we'll add to it and we'll get to fill in a, a higher envelope. So I will put that one in that box over there. Let me put these away. And let's get our savings challenges started. All right, I pulled the open challenges. We've already finished our $100 savings challenge with the 10s, with the 5s, our 300 with the 20s, the 500 with the miscellaneous amounts. So we're going to go ahead and finish one more. This will be the bingo blackout. And we needed $60 left. That's all we had left. I was so excited. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So this will take care of our blackout bingo. And this will represent six, excuse me, $670. So we will add that to our binder. And at the end of the year, we will undo all of these two, count it all up and I'm so excited. So that will go into here. This will be the first time we add anything to our rainy day fund challenge. This will be $420 and each umbrella represents 20. 
So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, and 220. And remember, this all came from our cash envelopes from last month. All right, 220. So I know I'm going to 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, and 20. Then we'll just quickly, you know, coloring, not my strong suit. <laughs> I love seeing them get all crossed out. It's exciting. You know, before we started this system again, I mean, we did something similar to this when we were much younger people and, you know, where this wasn't really, you know, a big thing yet. And it just seemed so much harder. And now it just, it just feels right. You know, it, it just feels like something we should have been doing all along. All right. And then we had three. So let's do this number three right here. Okay. Well, that was it, gang. I can't believe how, how quickly this month has gone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're saving. I hope you don't beat yourself up in case, you know, something goes awry because it does. Life throws all kinds of, you know, fun and wacky things at us. All you can do is just pick yourself up and try again the next day. I am so happy that I've met so many of you and you've shared your stories and your journey with us. It's exciting to know that, you know, a lot of people are in the same boat and we're just trying to do the best we can. I thank you for that. I really appreciate it. All right, gang, again, I'm working on the, I'm working on cooking just mm. for right now. I will see you in November. I hope you have a great update. Let us know how you're doing. It's exciting to hear it. I really, really appreciate it when you share. Be safe. Be well. We'll see you soon.